Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software, and on today's video, Formatting Quoted Text, I'm going to show you how fast and easy it is to format any text in your document as quoted text, or to then unquote it if necessary. I'm in my sample document here, and I can quote any text that I need to quickly and easily. However, before I do that, I do need to make sure that my user settings are set up properly. These settings should automatically be included in everyone's user settings, but just in case, you can go to Alt U or click on Settings, go to the Programming tab, select Quoted Text Paragraph Map, and click Modify. Your Quoted Text Paragraph Map should include this information. If it's blank, your Quoted Text won't work properly, and you'll need to insert this information. I'll put these lines of text in the description of this video in case you do need them. However, as I mentioned before, your settings should autofill with this information. I'm going to hit OK and then OK. And now that I've verified that that information is filled in, using the quoted text system is as simple as marking the text that I would like to quote, going to Format, and choosing Quote. Or I can hit Alt-Shift-Q. After selecting quote or hitting alt shift Q, in order to see the results of this change, I do need to move my cursor. So I'm going to hit an arrow key and you see that all of that text has automatically been quoted for me. And the margins that are used are the margins that are set up in my user settings in the paragraphs tab under quoted paragraphs. You see that I have question quoted, answer quoted, speaker quoted, and then the continuation paragraphs for question, answer, and speaker also quoted. Text is typically only quoted during testimony, and so that's why there are only quoted paragraph types for question, answer, and speaker. If I wanted to adjust the margins, I could do so easily by simply adjusting them within the paragraphs tab, just like I would any other paragraph type. If I quoted too much text and I need to unquote something, I can mark the text that I wish to unquote, go to Format, select Unquote, or hit Alt-Shift-N, and again I'll move my cursor, and the text has been unquoted. And in addition, if you're doing only a single paragraph, you don't need to mark the paragraph at all. You can simply have your cursor on the paragraph, go to Format, Quote, and move your cursor, and the text is quoted. It's only necessary to mark the text that you need to quote or unquote, when you're doing multiple paragraphs at a time. And there is no limit to the amount of text that you can quote. I'm going to go ahead and I'll start here by marking the answer. And I'll hit control page down. I'll go to format, quote. I'll move my cursor. And you see that all of the text here has been quoted. And again, if I'm not pleased with where the text is falling, I can simply go to my user settings, to the paragraphs tab, and modify the margins for my quoted text paragraph types. If you do make changes to these and you want those changes to go forward to your future documents, make sure that you make the same change in your master format or you copy the changes if doing so is safe. Formatting quoted and unquoted text in Eclipse is simple and straightforward and you can be sure that you can always get the results you want with a touch of a button. Thank you so much for watching this video. As always, Advantage Software offers anytime support 24 seven. Tech support can be reached for questions about any of our products anytime, including weekends and holidays at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future.